I'll show you tattoos that we say are bad. If this tattoo were to come to you, I want you to tell us how you will fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do cover-ups. 700 bucks an hour, I'll do cover-up. Fixing a bad tattoo. I feel like a majority of these, I'm just gonna say laser. <sighs> Fuck me. Believe. Be live. I'm dyslectic. I didn't realize there was a spelling mistake. He believes in himself. Also, I think my boyfriend has pretty much the same tattoo. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not much of a speller. I've, <laughs> I've spelled a few uh, tattoos in my career wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they want me to fix it? I don't know what you're gonna do with that. My response would be to get laser immediately. <laughs> or put a little arrow with an E. Oh, I don't think this guy wants to change anything about it. I think the person that got this is stoked to have gotten this. I will completely cover with a big image the whole chest panel. Probably something with feathers. Um, birds, owls, stuff like that works really well. Filigree, man. Filigree fixes everything. With a t-shirt on, a bulletproof vest, because the other thing I would use is a gun. Yeah, everything about the tattoo is horrible. Uh, Laser. Or just get other tats so people will not look at that, but look at the better ones. I think it's gonna be very noticeable still that that's spelled wrong, no matter how many tats you put around it. <laughs> well, you, uh, like everything's thick bold, like that line set obviously makes it harder for a cover up, but then the, the swirls underneath it aren't well articulated. Like you can see the artist didn't understand the idea of flow. I would try to cover that thing. I'd do a whole chest piece on him, and I would try to cover that thing. If you couldn't fit an E where that I is, I would definitely try to do as much as I could to camouflage it into a piece that was so dynamic that you could not tell that that is going straight through it. I think I could do it. So, for this, I probably wouldn't try to add that missing letter just because the anatomy of the whole tattoo like is going to look smushed. Um, but even though like it's super dark and green, um, I would probably just go with a full chest piece to cover that. Something super, super intricate, definitely f full color and probably more on the neo-traditional end. Probably like a big ass like eagle or an owl, something with something huge. That tattoo Conor McGregor has, that big gorilla with the tribal, yeah, just cover it with, with one of those bad boys. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Like if, if Full my, cover it, a, uh, across the chest. No, no, and fuck that. Full if my sister send me some shit like this, like, dog, hey, I'm not covering it up and I'm not fixing it. Like, you, you can, can't fix that. You, like, what do you do? What do you, those what, swirls what do you, are just No, dead. no, because you casually said cover up. What are you going to cover it up with? A full chest, like full Full chest, chest of what? What do you, what, what do you, Tell me what the full chest is. Damn. Conor McGregor, because that's, that's <laughs> all that's about to happen. Uh, if I was a guy, I would fix the physique. I would, I would do a lot of wide chests on the bench, um, try and get that cupping, and then do the diamond push-ups to get that, that middle cleavage going. As for the tattoo, I'll probably laser that shit off. Ooh, okay, Thanos. Um, yeah, you put that one in the trash. That sucks so bad. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I would just turn him into a Simpsons character at that point. No, that's not even a good caricature. That That is, no, what have you done to his mouth? No. Oh god. Why did they make his mouth so huge? He got his teeth right though. I'm not too sure why Freddie Mercury is singing for Thanos. The, the only thing I, the only thing I, I can't even look at the arm hair. Look at the arm hair. Oh, I think that one's perfect the way it is. That is fucking awesome. That is an awesome tattoo. I kind of want that tattoo on me. <laughs> I hope the guy didn't try to do a realistic tattoo. But I, I have a feeling like that was supposed to be a caricature because there's just no way you would make the face that shape or that size. Well, Thanos has the power stone. I would get the power stone and I would blow his arm off. You're gonna have to turn this into a duck portrait because I don't know what this guy was thinking. I would make it new school. I would go with thick outlines, uh, some crazy colors, a crown somewhere, a lightning bolt, and... That's terrible. That's so bad. What would you do if someone came in and I would tell them to like... leave. <laughs> How could you do that to him? You're not gonna get a good picture of Freddie Mercury from this. This is just horrible. Oh my God, what was it done in prison? I honestly think at this point, you just wanna make it into a joke tattoo. I would I add uh, Simpson characters all around it and then make it feel like it's it's The Simpsons. It, I think that is The Simpsons, right? I'd just blast over that with a big old skull. I would do solid color in the background instead of the clouds just to make him really stand out. 
I don't even know if I would want to fix that. I would love that tattoo. Like, you'll never forget that tattoo. And I think at some point, tattooing is kind of like that. Like, you get something that's so ugly that people remember it compared to something that's good, and they're like, oh yeah, it's a good tattoo. I would like that. I'm ready like that. Look at his upper if, if, lip. If, if so <laughs> his mustache is on fucking steroids. <laughs> If someone came in, if someone, ah. if someone came, if someone came in with the right amount of money and was like, I want this in full color, I want this picture in full color. Somebody fucked me up. I want this in full color. Kevin, can you I do would it? change that microphone into a burger, and then make it like a caricature. Okay. Oh, uh, there's nothing you're gonna do with that. Uh, fix it, cover it, change it into the Wu Tang logo. I don't know. Shoot your fucking face off. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, you're fucked. I mean, you do something as dumb. I mean, look at the mustache peeking through. What the fuck ever. Go to the cinemas. You um, you go watch uh, Bird Box and ask them for a reverse Bird Box and for the mouth, so sort of like a mouth box. And then um, just kind of walk around permanently with a mask. That's, he's a Punisher skull. Okay, we're gonna turn this one into a Wu-Tang symbol, and we're gonna say he's the number one Wu-Tang fan in the world. He's halfway to a clown. Just finish the face. Just do a full clown, or he could be Darth Vader. Look at the mouth. He could totally be a Darth Vader. I'd finish the whole mask, right? Make it look like Hannibal Lecter, you know? Put some blood in there. What, how we will fix that? I will put the whole face in black. Like the half. Oh, I'll put a bull 14 round liner around that bitch and some fusion power black and call it a day. And he's, gonna, <laughs> he's gonna be happy. Happier than that. I mean, it's already there. I would probably just redo it so that it's solid black and looks nice. He's, he's obviously into it. Laser work, man, like that's, that just needs to come off. That's not a good tattoo. You don't even try to cover that. The only thing you can do to that is laser. And it's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. And you know, he looks so stupid that I'm sure he's gonna go and get it again. You know what though? They. You know how they say everybody gets the tattoo that they deserve? Obviously that's unsalvageable because it's on the face and it's black. I, that's like so solid black, there's no way you can fix that. Or just become a full-time juggalo. I'd probably say go see your local GP, see your doctor and, and see what kind of cream he can give for um, the syphilis. Maybe, yeah, you shouldn't have uh, went down there if she was only like 20 bucks. I don't know, it's kind of hard in a way. I kind of like that. This might be my favorite one of all of them. I kind of like this one. I, w I would say grow a, a really thick beard out. Wow, that pizza needs to be cooked. And I just put some more pepperonis on it and color it in. Pepperoni, it would be like a meat lover's pizza for sure. I mean, yeah, make a little pizza, make a little pepperoni, make it look good, I don't know. I'll take a bite though, you got the money. I mean, yeah, I think you could cover that with pretty much anything, or just, yeah, revamp the pizza, give it some pepperonis. Or you could turn it into a really badass Harry Potter tattoo, because that could easily be like the Deathly Hollow symbol with enough imagination. I think this is my friend hand pokes in their basement type of deal. Um, looks very like a hipster did it with their healing crystals. Oh yeah, I turned it into an ice cream cone, you're right. Oh, this is perfect. This is a perfect outline, start of a great tattoo. Thankfully, this one is very fixable, I think. I really feel like since there's so much skin showing through, you could really like take advantage of that and it not show through too terribly. Oh, you could fix that. Oh, you could do one of your cool Wait. like eyes in the triangle. Time out. Is that an all-seeing eye or is it a fish in water? Oh, that's true. Or but it's either a taco way, in water. Oh, a taco. Yeah, you can make that a tight all-seeing eye. You know, it's just line work. You could probably just blast over that with something else. It's gonna have have to have a little black in there. You could still go with the hot button right now, the new the new word, geometric, whatever, dude. It's not a complimentary shape to that part of the arm. I would just cover the whole thing. It's just line work. Uh, well, Darth Vader is always a great cover-up, so uh, you got a bad tattoo, Darth Vader can pretty much cover up anything. I see water in the triangle. Oh, it's pizza! Oh! It's <laughs> a slice of pizza! Wait, wait, wait. I can go off I, I, said, I said it's water inside of a triangle. Yeah, that's what I thought too. <laughs> no, you said pizza. clouds. You thought it was clouds. Yeah. But it's pizza. No, perfect. I'm like, yeah. tell me what you want and I could do it. Like whatever you want, I could do that It's like pizza with an eye or but hey, we could make it. But just make to, it happen. Just to flex, just for the sake of flexing, I'm gonna do a super photorealistic slice of pizza over that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I would do. I would probably cover it up with just tribal um, Polynesian patterns, just because you ha already have your lines and the flow of the bicep, you can cut you can you can cut through. 
Do I have to point here? This is actually super easy to fix or redo anything on it because there's just a couple of lines. Like you can slap whatever you want on top of that, you'll be fine. Just maybe like add some pepperonis and just make it into a pizza. Well, I mean, okay, so if you, if this meant something to this fucking person, and I can't imagine it did, but if it meant something to that person, that could obviously be cleaned up. I mean, you could do bolder lines, you can clean the fucking lines up and not like make it look like a child fucking drew it on you. You know what I would do to it though? I know exactly what I would do to it. Because this is barely anything. You could make this in anything, cover it. For me, I'd want to have fun with it and I'd want to rock it. I would do a really realistic triangle cutout into the guy's arm and I would make that into a dinosaur eye and use the texture of scales and make it look like a, like a velociraptor is peeking out of this diamond cutout in the arm. I think that that is why they make gloves for and you will give them a, a free pair of gloves and then tell them to leave your shop. Yo, yeah, you need gloves. You need gloves. You know what it looks like? That looks like when I fuck up the stencil and or or they or or they just go, oh, can you move it over a centimeter of an inch? I'm like, fuck, it went on so perfect. And you hit it with the alcohol and the whole hand turns purple. Did you see this? You look at this. We call these roses cabbage roses. Yeah, oh, that one's rough. What do you even do to that one? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Um, I would just bring out the tones, like they literally just flat get flat, flat, flat fucking purple, but like, yeah, let's get a little rich purple yeah. in there, like, like bold lines, you can make, black. you can actually make that type some, if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, some, maybe, maybe some, uh, purple contrast to yeah. make some darker spots, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Define fixing it, improving it, yeah, you can improve it like a tiny little bit, but the amount of energy and time that you're gonna put into fixing it. Go back with the black, go back with white, make it some shading and create the same rose, realistic. Um, probably turn into some rad space stuff. I mean, that's probably your only bet to fix that. I mean, you can go back in and actually put the values where it needs to be and actually make that pretty good rose. Just color the rest of his hand purple. Dude, that purple hand, oh my God, when that thing heals, that is like a true genuine scab assassin right there. Yeah, dude, I saw that fucking yesterday. I was like, you want a purple rose? Like, here's a purple rose. Like, there is no contrast or uh, any kind of like roll or planes of that at all. They just filled it in solid. You could add some blacks in there and you could add some highlights. You'd be surprised at how much you could bring this back. You would have to let it heal first for sure though. Hopefully it fades a bit because a lot of hand jams tend to fade a lot more because it, it sees the sun quite a bit. Notice I said hand jams and not hand jobs. I mean, realistically, this is fixable though. I mean, you could conceivably black shade it, clean it up, fucking make it look good. The problem with that ro that purple though is it's not, you know, very few artists are gonna be able to pack light tones into that to make it really look good. This tattoo just needs some black and some highlights, really. I mean, you could like put shading where the line work is. I mean, it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. No, that's, that's one thing it has is that's that that's very gonna be in there. there for a long time. Actually, that wouldn't be too tough of a fix. I'd just go in there, yeah, I just need some, push some blacks, you know? Like, add a way more contrast, punch in some opaques or some or some whites. The design part doesn't suck. Like, the, the line work isn't well done, the tattoo's okay, but the structure of the rose, you could easily just redo that. Like, and because the line work is so faded, if you just went in with other tones of purple, you could turn that into a hyper-realistic tattoo. You could easily reline that and make that a Neotrad tattoo. And you can just be like, this is the style, you dumb shit. Like, you don't know this? This is like the new school, like, solid color flade. Like, just go with it and just pretend everybody is really dumb and they don't know that that's the new thing to do.